Hi, thanks for tuning in to the Riverbed Support YouTube channel. My name is Gavin Garley, and today we're going to talk about enabling SMB v2 slash 3 domain communications. We're going to have a quick overview of the SMB 23 domain communications. We're going to review the steps required to get this configured. We'll provide some additional resources that you may want to review in regards to SMB 23 domain communications. And finally, we're going to demo the steps required to get this configured. Well, Microsoft recommends disabling SMB v1 on Windows devices for security reasons. In order to communicate over SMB v2.3, you'll need to upgrade your Steelhead or Steel Fusion device to Rios 9.6 or above. Without SMB 2.3 domain communications enabled, any domain join device will fail to optimize SMB 2.3 as well as MAPI protocols. You may notice that there is a domain authentication alert that's triggered, and in your syslogs, you may see NT status connection reset in reference to communicating with domain controllers. If you're trying to domain join and that domain join is failing, you can pull a quick packet trace and narrow in on the negotiate protocol request from the steelhead. If that is getting reset by the domain controller, that is a good indication that we need to get SMB v23 enabled on the device. It's worth noting that the steps to enable SMB v23 domain communications are the same for Steelhead CX, Steelhead EX, and Steel Fusion Edge devices. So the first step that you'll need to complete is upgrading the device to 9.6 or above. We're not going to cover that in this video. I'm starting with a device that has already been upgraded to an appropriate version of Rios. Then you'll need to enable SMB v2.3 communication with the command domain settings SMB2 enable. Once we've done that, we'll obviously want to verify that the alarms have cleared and domain communication is functioning properly. And if you are trying to get optimization for SMB2.3 protocols uh, to work for your clients, uh, it's worth running the commands no protocol SMB2 sign in blacklist and no protocol SMB2 blacklist to clear all of the clients out of the blacklist so they can be optimized. Some additional resources that you may want to take a look at. Uh, article 30252 details the steps that we'll be taking today. Article 27472 is the Steel Fusion and Steelhead EX Rios release matrix. In the case of Steel Fusion Edges and Steelhead EXs, you'll need to upgrade to 5.1 or above. That contains Rios 9.6.0a. And some additional reading here, uh, Microsoft Ned Pyle says stop using SMB v1. You can go to that blog, blog spot and review what Ned Pyle has to say about SMB v1, or you can also contact Microsoft. All right, let's demo. All right, we are back in my warm, cozy lab on our server-side Steelhead EX device. So the first thing that we're going to do here is take a quick look at our alarm status. And you can see that domain authentication alert is triggered and we are not optimizing uh, SIF signed and encrypted MAPI traffic. Just to further express that point under current connections, you can see that my test client is indeed not getting optimized and has been blacklisted. So another indicator of this problem, if you want to go into system logs and you can do a search for nt underscore status underscore connection underscore reset. This is one of the telltale signs that the domain controller does not like what we have to say. Slightly off topic, but we'll display it just for the sake of argument. 
I have another steelhead device <clears throat> that is not currently joined to the domain that does not have SMB v23 domain communication enabled. And if you pull a quick trace on a domain join process in this scenario, you'll find that the steelhead will send its initial SYN to the domain controller. Domain controller SYN acts back and the steelhead acts the SYN act. We build the initial connection into SMB with a negotiate protocol request and immediately the domain controller says no thank you. So we're going to pull up an SSH connection real quick. Go into EN config T and we're going to say show domain settings. Now if you are on the appropriate version of Rios you will see the option at the bottom that says SNB2 for domain ops and currently that's disabled on this system. If you're on a previous version of code this option will not show up so if you don't see this option it's because you need to upgrade. So let's go ahead and enable domain communication with SNB v2. We're going to say domain settings SMB2 enable. All right. So the command tells you to PM process RCUD restart. And that's fine. I prefer to just restart the optimization service. Um, you'll see I also need to save this change to disk. So let's save that. I'm going to go into administration, I'm going to go into services, and we're going to do a quick restart. Now keep in mind if you do restart the optimization service, you need to make sure that you're in an appropriate uh, change control or outage window. We'll just give the system a minute to sort itself out. And back under alarms, you can see that we don't have any domain authentication alerts. Everything looks good here. So before I test my connection to the remote PC with SMB, I've gone ahead and connected to my server side and client side steelhead to run the commands no protocol SMB2 blacklist and no protocol SMB2 signing blacklist. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this, but if you're trying to validate that we've resolved the problem immediately, you will need to do this. Otherwise, you can wait until the blacklist clears uh, automatically. So let's go back here. We'll connect to my remote PC. And we'll give this an update. And we are now connected over 11199 to 11110. You can see that we no longer have a red triangle, and we are SMB optimized up to layer 7 SMB 30. Thanks again for watching the video. If you find this content helpful, please subscribe and feel free to comment. Have a great day, everybody.